Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am, of course, your host, Aaron, and today we are going to go over some Funko Pops because I know sometimes we get sidetracked and we talk about an anime convention or a Funko Pop convention or a restaurant or two. But today we're going to talk about a restaurant and then go into a Funko Pop. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. Disappointment has always been something that followed me around. When it was I was a little kid trying out for various teams, such as soccer, football, baseball, basketball. Guess what? I sucked at everything. I wasn't good at sports. What can I say? But you know what I was good at? Gaga. And if you don't know what Gaga is, it was like an octagon-shaped wooden cylinder thing. Now, I know you're saying, wait a second, Aaron. Didn't have really high walls so you can't get the ball out? No. You were playing the knockoff Gaga. The real Gaga went down to your knees and I was husky. And if you don't know what Gaga is, go look up past things at Holland Day Camp. That's where I went to camp. And I miss that place because I was a Gaga champion. One day I'll show you my little Gimp figures that I made in the Gimp belts. I still have them. But first we need to talk about something that was very upsetting. I left work the other day and of course you know I love to get my McDonald's fries. I like to get a big large fry they don't have extra large so i would get an extra large fry and they were a dollar you know in my past episode i talked about how i loved it so the other day when i left work and i was hungry and i was like okay, look i haven't had a large fry in a long time it's been like a month or two i've been eating a little bit healthier uh let's let's just grab a fry let's just let's go so I ride over to McDonald's and I didn't check the app beforehand and I'm, I'm sure you see where this is going. I pulled up to McDonald's and I ordered my fry and I pulled up my app and guess what? There was no more dollar fry. The dollar fry is gone. No more dollar fry. It is gone. No more. Poof. Now they have some kind of $2 purchase and then you get a large fry. No, look. It would be cool if I wanted to spend two dollars at McDonald's, but between you and me, I didn't want to spend more than a dollar six. A dollar six got me my fry. It made me happy. It made me smile. There is not even a product that McDonald's sells for two dollars that I want. Now you're probably saying, "Hey, man, just get yourself a drink. Just get a drink, get the fries, move on with your day. That's it. Just get the drink, get the fry, move on." Well, it's not that easy because most of their drinks are only a dollar for any size. And if they don't, and you get a small, it's like $1.59. And then if you get a medium or a large, it's over the $2 mark. And by that point, it's like, <laughs> why don't I just get a whole meal and then I just add that fry? And then, you know, that's a bunch of calories. And then I'm going home and eating another meal because it's already been cooked, right? <laughs> oh, man, my life. But yeah, I was really disappointed. McDonald's failed me and... Uh, one day I'm going to have to write them a letter because it was very upsetting. So let's get into this Funko Pop and bring up the excitement level on 8 Minutes with Aaron. And it is from our buddies here at Amazon. Now Amazon never fails to amaze me with their shipping process and letting me know when things aren't coming in. Guess what? My big mom that I ordered, the common version, it's coming in late, but they sent me a reminder. So... I updated my tracking information or whatever the hell I had to do. It wasn't tracking information. And I'll get it eventually. Just like I got these Funko Pops eventually, which I am very excited to open up because I think I know what's inside. Do you? While I'm opening this up, try to leave it in the comments, even though it doesn't matter because this video has already been filmed. All right, here we go. Oh, and looks like Amazon's trying to get on our good side by adding some plastic protection the bubble wraps always a uh a slick technique and they always give a round of applause for they you know man that was good that was good Done. and we are pulling out one funko pop in this box but i do want to flip it real quick because i have a theory that now they are going to put what item is in the funko pop box and by me exposing it to you you're not getting the thrill of what could be inside. You already know what's inside. So when I open it, you're not excited. So get excited, everyone, on the count of three. One, two, whoop, boom, 
what is it? Oh, it is the Amazon exclusive glow in the dark Super Saiyan Trunks with a sword. And of course, we know this dude is from Dragon Ball Super. It is when he came back from the future to tell Goku, Vegeta, and company that there was a dude dressed like Goku, who was Goku, murdering the shit out of everybody in his future. Well, Trunks, if you didn't create some kind of crazy, dilapidated, convoluted time travel, maybe there wouldn't have been so many Gokus and uh, Zamazus, right? Um, I don't know. Uh, as we did go over this Funko Pop before, I'm not going to just explain too much about it. Uh, he got the sword when he did his, like, uber power-up, his berserk mode in a sense, and then kind of, like, sliced through Zam, and he died. No, he didn't die, because then he turned into that big blob of shamorphous thing, and then, uh, that little, what was that little dude's name? Zeno had to destroy that universe. I hope you saw that thing, because I definitely ruined that for everybody without saying spoiler alert. We're going to open this Funko Pop up. The last one I had was a common. It didn't glow in the dark. And I was waiting for this one. Did I return the other one? Yeah, I did. So I cannot do a comparison. But we can turn the lights off and have this bad boy glow. And you can see the coolness of the glow. Now, one thing I will mention about the glow in the dark Funko Pops. You can definitely tell that they've got some kind of paint or extra material on the Funko Pop. Not only can you feel it, you can kind of see it. It's all over a sword. I can feel it in the hair. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, on the bottom portion over here. And I did want to mention, just like that other Funko Pop that I opened up, or did I not open the Funko Pop up? Or did I throw it back in the box? One way or another, uh, this Funko Pop is a lot heavier than the ones that have the other stuff on the side. Who was that? Who was that that I opened that I cannot remember? I probably put it back in the box, and that's why I can't remember. But this trunks, we're going to turn off the lights, get a better look at them, so you guys can tell me if you think the glow is worth it. And I'm not talking about Naomi from WWE with her song, because her glow is <laughs> definitely worth it. Hold on one second. All right. Okay, no, let's do it So we are going to flash this light on trunks, and hopefully we'll get a really cool glow. One, here we go. Oh! Oh, yeah, check that out. I really am digging that. Look, the sword's glowing up. His eyes are glowing up. He is super Saiyan berserk mode. I'm going to slash you in half. <laughs> I don't know why I did the Bowser laugh. That was There was no point in the Bowser laugh. However, I am sure Vegeta would be very proud of his son for completing this form. And I'm just going to go turn the light back on real quick. All right, and we are back and better than ever and i actually don't know how my green screen is going to turn out when i shut off the light crap all right doesn't really matter because it is time for the oops oh the downs all right amazon let's start off with you i am going to have to give you a up for the packaging and an up for the trunks and then i have to tell mcdonald's mcdonald's you are getting it down you are shitty for getting rid of my dollar fry, and I will write a letter. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we talk about more things I don't like, more Funko Pops, and blurring out more things. Isn't it incredible what we can do with our time? I will see you later.